My name's Johnny Pitts, and although I grew up in the UK, I've always been inspired by my father's African-American heritage and the civil rights history in the American South. So I'm on a journey along the civil rights trail to experience firsthand the soul of the South. Today, I'm in Memphis, Tennessee, starting my journey at the Stax Museum, a place dedicated to preserving the legacy of Stax records and American soul music. With 50 years at this legendary music institution, Deanie Parker knows firsthand the relationship between soul music and America's civil rights history. This civil rights trail and the civil rights movement in America are an integral part of what the Stax Museum of American Soul Music is all about. It describes the pain, the unfairness, the hopes, the dreams, the disappointments. It's all in that music. Everything that civil rights represents is right here. Incredible, and you can feel it. It's so powerful to be around all these these classic albums, you know, and the, 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 the vinyl covers, and, and then I see over there Isaac Hayes, the Cadillac. The Cadillac. <laughs> the, <laughs> it's ultimate, amazing. the ultimate ride. But Memphis isn't just about the soul music, it's also about the soul food. I caught up with local mural artist Danielle Sierra, whose work is now featured on the side of one of Memphis's iconic institutions, Four Way Soul Food. Danielle, this is a beautiful mural and you made it. How did it all come about? Take me back to the beginning. So I came to the restaurant and I was inspired by when they put the plate in front of me and I was like, this is the mural, you know? It looks amazing. Wow. So what we have here is yam juice. Yam juice. Okay. And yam juice is what we actually, it creates from when we're cooking the yams. Okay. So it starts off as just water, butter, sugar. I can't keep telling you because <laughs> you'll know all my secrets. <laughs> you have to kill me. <laughs> but what I want you to do is try dipping your cornbread in the yam juice. Mm. Okay. Okay. Is this like a Miss Patrice special? Not necessarily my special, but it's just a thing that we do in the South. Them, so. See, you're being nice. You're supposed to take the cornbread and dip it. And dip it the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just hey, there yeah. you go. Mm. Mm. It sort of feels both savory and sweet. Sweet and savory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a really nice yeah. mix of flavors. Now I'm headed to the world famous Beale Street to check out the staggering collection of Dr. Ernest C. Withers, a prolific photographer during the civil rights era in Memphis. His daughter, Rosalind, talks me through the significance of Beale Street's past. It really is uh, a very uh, historic landmark for our culture. And all of the most noted global figures, such as B.B. King, Elvis Presley. <laughs> I mean, this street represents a place where color was not a barrier, because entertainment was the element that brought everybody together. No civil rights trail through Memphis would be complete without a visit to the Lorraine Motel, a place forever etched in America's collective memory as the assassination site of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in 1968. And I know about Dr. King here in Memphis because of his beautiful mountaintop speech, which is the first time I ever encountered Martin Luther King when my dad played me this speech. But I just wondered why he was here in Memphis to deliver that powerful speech. He was called here to help the Memphis sanitation workers. They needed to strike, they needed better wages, better health. And so he came here to really work through what needed to happen to, to get that done for them. Our mission is to protect and to preserve Dr. King's legacy. There should be no instance where folks not understand what him being in Memphis meant. Not a memorial, but an inspiration site to what Dr. King meant to this world. Memphis is a city rich with civil rights history. You can feel it everywhere you go. And it makes for an enlightening, truly unique, and special place to visit.